Hello and welcome to Expeditions of Mudrunner game. I'm MJ Haggis and we're going to try and do a Let's Play. So it's basically what you would see if you started a brand new game. It is new to me so it'll be a bit of a learning curve and I will probably get quite a bit wrong. But what I've immediately noticed at the home screen is Start Co-op coming soon. No idea when but that sounds very interesting. So I'll be looking forward to trying that out as and when it becomes available. But we're going to start a new game. I've done a couple of little testing uh, runs just to get my keyboard and mouse, because that's what I'm using. I'm not using a controller to make sure all my buttons work as intended. It's very similar to SnowRunner. So I've kind of set, set it up very similar to that to make it simple for me. Uh, and I need it simple. So we're going to start a new game. Well, we're going to continue with one that kind of bypasses the tutorial. So let's load. And it's this one here at the beginning. Still at 0%. Both at 0%. One I started this morning. And one I started this afternoon to get a different feel for it. Anyway, we're going to select this one. And we're going in. Nice. Now. Because I have it slightly earlier than the base game, which is on the 5th of March. So in another five days, I get a few different vehicles and probably different skins. Nothing major, I don't believe. But here we're starting in the probably the tutorial side of maps, Little Colorado. Zero expeditions done and the rest are all locked. So let's start with that. Okay. Uh, first expedition is the only one that is unlocked. Everything is locked. So far. Uh, okay, let's go with that. First expedition is your first assignment. You have to go to the mountains and install a radio module that will improve the signal quality at the base. But be careful. The road is not easy. Okay. I'll imagine it's not too bad, though. You need a jack screw. Okay, and that, I believe, will right your vehicle if it is not on all four wheels and a sideboard, probably, to put it in. Okay, truck is an off-road. Distance is a 1,000. I don't know if this means up to a 1,000. Maybe difficulty is easy. Height differences is the terrain. And the terrain is also watery. Okay, we get a few rewards. Don't know what that means yet, so we'll click on Show All Rewards. There's a wee map of it all, so home base maybe, I don't know. And we're going a couple of different areas. The Dawn 71. Driven, oh, we're using a specialist, a, log a logistician, Connor Erickson. Okay, very good. Uh, so that's what we're going to get from that. 1,500 prepayment and a payment of 2,000. Okay, well, it is what it is. Let's just select that. Okay, next screen. Pick a truck. Okay. Okay. Right, there's our trucks in our truck selection. Actian SE. Familiar with this. In fact, we'll be probably familiar with all of the trucks if you've played SnowRunner. Except for the Kotko Canyon SRI. Okay. Proper Scout. Okay, well, we'll keep it... Fairly straightforward. We'll go with the acting top of the list. Cargo! Exclamation mark. So I presume we need to kit it out because it doesn't look like it's come with much. Add that. Okay. Inventory! Exclamation mark. Cargo! Okay, let's go for cargo. Again, very familiar, but slightly different. Okay, so we're going to fit the short sideboard. It's going straight to the exclamation mark, so it's free. We'll buy that then. Okay, nice. And a quick scroll through them all. Short flatbed. It just removes the sides, okay. Small Kong. A more compact Kong for smaller trucks. Can hold up to 500 spare parts and two spare wheels. Okay, very good. Living module. This is locked. Ah, that's why we're not seeing anything. Okay. Maybe we'll come back to this, see what these are once it's unlocked, right? Everything else. That's the exterior. That's fine. I think we need to get... I don't think we can do anything. We're probably so new, we don't get any options here. Oh, we get a low snorkel. A thousand. I got... You start off with 30,000. I got 3,000 for completing the tutorial. That's all why that's at that number. Nothing fancy. I'm not even going to bother fitting anything in case there's better things to come along. But we do need... What was it we needed? Something else. Full slots. Okay. 
Build slots 500 and to slot. What's fuel? Okay, sideboard. Why not? I'll take some extra fuel. Escape. I spent 500 of my hard earned cash. Emergency reserve small. Is that what that went into? Full tone fenders. Do I need them? Are they just cleared arches? Nah, I'm not even going to bother. Let's just get out and drive. I want to see the landscape. Back out of that. Inventory, we need a screw. There's the jack screw. Looks like you get two uses, I'm guessing, from that. Hey, buy that. Go. Cool. Right, I think we're ready to go. We've got 160 litres of fuel, 50 extra fuel, or 50 repair parts of 450 and one spare tyre. That's how I'm reading that. Okay. And hey, let's go back. And... Let's deploy. There's a garage. Start expedition. There's a map. How big is the map? That's as far as it'll move that way. That's as far as that's moving that way. That way. So we're fairly central in the middle of the map. Let's go. Main base. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're in. That didn't take too long, right? First expedition, get to the crossroads. Again, very similar to Snow Runner. Contract requirements up in the top right corner. Gearbox, and I'm guessing it's going to be... Yeah, that's all-wheel drive. Can't fit, or can't activate. Diff lock. Not sure what that one is yet. And the parking brake. That's the only one that's going to confuse me, because I've changed it from its left control was on mine, and SnowRunner, it's now the space bar. So, let's get that off. Trade. F, trade. Hold. Next action. So, if I press F, we can trade. Okay, so there's us. Base module. So, there's that. Things that we can take after we've left the garage. Okay, maybe. I'm going to come back. I'm going to hold F now. Store. We can go to the store. Okay, much the same, I th think. We'll figure it out. Right, okay, let's have a look at the terrain. Very nice. Colorado. Right, I don't... I don't know if that's the high mountains, are kind of like a boundary to the map. Could well be. Let's go exploring. Where are we going? Just over here. Right. Engine on is just basically W. Hit forward. Now, I'm not fully used to these basic, basic gearboxes, so we're going to have to find things. I'm going to be clicking buttons, going for gears I do not have. Again, the mouse, if I click my mouse button, I get my mouse back, and if I click it again, I can move about. So that's very similar to SnowRunner. In fact, it's exactly the same. Okay, minimap. In expeditions, you'll need to navigate the terrain. Use the minimap for this. Okay. Right, minimap. Again, same as before. Get to the pond and examine the echo sounder. Okay, that's pondish. First expedition. I've got to put a wee waypoint exactly the same as Snowrunner. There's your waypoints, there's your distance. I'm going to leave it. Over there. Off we go. I'm going to leave all wheel drive off. All wheel drive, as said in the tutorial, does use more fuel, which is the same as Snowrunner as well. But what I'm not sure yet is how much it's going to use extra having all-wheel drive on. And it's the same litres per minute in the bottom left down here. So we're using 1.1 litres per minute. Very familiar. Okay. Oh, handbrake. If you see this in the left, look at that, it's because I'm trying to put the handbrake on. I'm not trying to do anything with that. That's left control. So, use the echo sounder to, de to determine the depth of water bodies you're about to cross. Okay. Tab. Sounder. There it is. And that disappears after a few seconds. There it goes. So, handbrake off. We're going to cross this then. Right. No grip. I'm digging into the mud. Let's put all wheel drive on. Yeah, and that makes all the difference. I'm going to well, maybe I should have put a snorkel on. Whoa. Let's head for the wee raised bit here. Ooh, okay, a little bit of damage to the tyre there. 
tree. Okay, let's. I'm gonna put my. I'm, I'm gonna get into the habit of putting my engine off because fuel is probably going to be an issue in this game, especially at the beginning when you don't have all the upgrades. Anyway, trade F. Resource zone. We have got here a radio station. A radio communication is a set of equipment necessary to carry on communication via radio waves. Okay, very good. Okay, okay transfer. And that's what it was asking me to do. So we've now got that. Gas station contains a significant amount of fuel. This container is empty. Huh. Okay. Right, okay, we've done. First expedition. Find a suitable location and launch the drone. Hey. And it's the flags here, blue box. Let's go up there. Now you can see my load bed with its tarpaulin over it, all roped in. That's quite cool. Oh, explore the nearby mountain using the drone. Okay. Put my handbrake on, engine off. Tab for devices, drone. Where are we? I'm going to reverse. Okay, the truck should be a bit low. So you, you're, you spawn in right above. So basically, this is photo mode from SnowRunner. We need to go up there. I can see a flag moving about. So left shift is up. Left control is down. I'm going to have a look about. Every time I see an H on a pad like that, I see helicopter. But that's probably not what we're going to get. Oh, well, maybe we will. I don't know. Maybe helicopters come in and supply us with goods. That would be cool. Okay, let's go over here. Let's follow the flag. It's kind of like an extended tutorial. That's what I'm feeling like. Height 19, distance 44. Well, that's from the vehicle. Okay, stage complete. Now let go of the buttons. It's like the drone stabilizing in there. Exit the drone and continue the search using the vehicle. Oh, so we've got to go down there. What, are we seeing anything this? Is that what I'm supposed to spot? That's what I'm feeling it is. Yeah, nothing new there. I exit the drone by doing... Escape. Yes, okay, escape. We do that. And we need to go over there. Okay, let's fire it back up again. Around this lump of rock. Getting used to using basic tires again and all that kind of stuff. Whoa. Okay. Let's just not go crashing into things. There we go. Oh. Pause. Stage complete. Winch. Use the winch to get your vehicle out of trouble. Attach it to, neutral, uh, to natural elements. Or use your own anchors and pull. Yes. Okay. Trees are common and useful winch points. Be careful, they can break. Press F to attach the winch. Go. Okay, very similar to Snowdonner yet again. Get up to this little bit here and now start using the winch on climb. Up. Whoa. Breaky. I'm not. Is that going to climb up there? Gone. Whoa, okay, we're kind of getting there. Up. And release. So, F for the winch, R to release. Nice and simple. Very familiar. Stage complete. You can also find the winch in the devices menu. So, tab. Winch. Which is the usual one. Very familiar again. I'm not sure if consoles will have a similar thing or if it'll, I I because I'm on the PC, it can be different for the console. But yeah, very familiar for that. Now we're going up there. Go, go, go. So far I'm finding it very, very smooth. No stuttering, no lag spikes or anything this is really nice enter delivery mode now i had a problem when i was doing this i had I, this is as far as i got almost with it doesn't tell me what button is delivery mode I was clicking through every button but apparently it's f 
and it still is. Good. Sometimes in expeditions you will have to complete quest item deliveries or complete structure construction. Okay. Deliver the radio station. Okay. Do you know it says deliver F deliver supplies? G push. Release what I don't know what push is. We're gonna deliver supplies, apparently. Oh radio station deliver F. Yes. Well I've got to press the button, have I? Oh, there it is. Nice radio. Okay, now what? Got it? Drive forward. Look around using binoculars. Is that from over there? Oh, I've connected the winch. Release. Let's move forwards then. That's where I've got to be. Age complete. Okay, use binoculars. Engine off. Handbrake on. Engine off. Cool. Binoculars are a great way to explore the map and find useful places or convenient paths for the vehicle to pass. Yes, I'm sure it will be. Open the minimap. I thought I was to use binoculars. I want to use binoculars. I can't use binoculars. Won't let me. Okay. Minimap. It is. No, I can't even do that. Right. Map. Look at the marked area on the map and then scout it. M. Oh, so not the text. We're looking... F Are we looking for other things? Oh, there we go. Right. We're looking over there. Other question marks I see, but this is the one it wants us to look at. Okay. M. No killers. Now that's working. Oh, okay. I'm looking directly at it. You've discovered a new airdrop. 100 something. I think that was 100 cash. Uh, oh, and you can zoom in. Oh, look, there it is there. No idea how we're going to get over there yet. Okay. We'll quickly scroll back. I'm just using my mouse wheel for this. See if anything else appears. There's a field operation base. The so home. You've discovered a new airdrop. A hundred, yeah, a hundred cash. Okay, let's zoom in on that. Here's a little red box to make it obvious. Very good. What's down there? Ford. Okay. I'm suspecting that's not a Ford vehicle. That's a Ford to cross water. Right. Nothing... Nothing over there, nothing up on the hills. Okay, we've done a full... Like, let's escape that. Now what do we do? Drive forward into the box? Yeah, looks good. I'm going to reverse back initially. Go around the edge. Not over the rocks. Oh, stage complete. Drone. Using a drone you can also discover unexplored parts of the map. Okay, okay. Okay, back. <laughs> M. Use the drone to discover all marked areas. So we are up here and we need to discover things. Okay, that's not too far. Okay. So close the map and use the drone. Okay, something down there. Let's move forward. I noticed that the height doesn't change, it's still saying 8, even though the, the terrain below me is obviously a lot lower than 8 now. What am I looking at? You've discovered a new airdrop, 100. Okay, very good. It was in this area, so anything else? No, nothing over there. Can we cross onto that little bit? And do a wee... Looks like you can cross all the way right in front of us. Maybe. Nothing over there. The water's very similar to SnowRunner as well. So I'm wondering then if there's going to be currents feel, felt as you're crossing deeper water. Right, let's escape that. What do we need to explore the area? 96%. Oh, do I need to do more? Oh, yeah, I've done that. Okay, let's try it again. I didn't notice the percentage sign there. Hey, where are we going? This way. Oh, I missed something. Oh, no, it's, now it's going up. Okay, move the drone. Oh, bad signal. Oh, get to the next point. Okay, 
That's basically drive forward, so we'll come back out the drone. Well, I guess there's no limit to how much you can use the drone, which is quite nice. It's not like got battery power that you can only use it so much, but there we go. Stage complete. Recovery. At any time during the expedition, you can recover your vehicle to the field base. Okay. In Snowrun, if you've followed my Let's Play, recovering vehicles by magic to the base is something I tried, or I have never done. Um... So, I usually try and drive back, but it looks like that's part of this game now. Open the mini bat. Find and choose the field base, then use recovery. Okay. Delete, add, right, okay. Find and choose the field base, then use recovery. Well, I'm clicking on it. Oh, what I've got to do? Right, what? Okay, come on. Field, right, okay, trucks. There's me acting. Oh, it's just that. Ah, okay. So you click on the thing on the left panel. Airdrops. We've got four airdrops, a Ford airdrop, airdrop, and airdrop. Okay, we know about them, that's fine. Right, let's click on this and see what happens. Recovery. Ah, uh, yeah, abracadabra, we are back. Feels a bit cheaty to me, but anyway. What do I do now? Recover to the base and park the truck. So I've got to go over there, have I? And trade again. So this blue cir uh, blue square is the base, not that landing pad is what I'm going to call it now. There we go. Expedition completed! Yay! First one done. 2,000 cash, take less than 200 damage, we gain another 500, we gain the Dawn 71, and we've gained the Eastern Outpost. Okay, I'm going to collect that. Thank you very much. A summary. How long it took, distance driven, fuel used, damage taken one, that's not bad. First expedition, items sold, what did I sell? I don't know what I sold. But we got 3,250 cash for that, and it's back to the headquarters. We didn't... Oh, we gained two more jacks. So that's what we took with us. We didn't gain any more. Okay. Fine. Back to base. So, region selection. Now they've all opened up so I can jump about. Okay. Interesting. We will certainly be going to these places, but... Mods region. Mods region. Now, in my Discord, I've got a Discord channel. If it's, It'll be linked below if you're interested. And certainly it was mentioned in the thing about mods, mod maps and stuff. So that'll be something interesting. If you're interested in following along with that, um, just for general chit-chat as well, Snowrunner chat and other stuff, by all means, click the link, join us. It, it is a lot of good guys in there that gives great information. That's, I'm very curious about if there's any mods ab available, but we are in Little Colorado. I feel I should continue with this to get properly familiar with the game. Okay, all of these have unlocked now. Okay. Nearby areas. Okay, that's... At least it shows you where you're roughly going. Stone Fords. Ooh, that's a bit far away. Heavy shipping. Okay, they're the more tricky ones. Earthy Vibes, Seismic Vibrator. Well, we, if you played again, Snowrun, you know what that's all about. It's, that's close by. Stone Ford. Select. Okay, pick a new truck. It's not like you're in your garage as you're familiar with it in Snowrunner. And there'll be a lot of links between Snowrunner as it is basically a sibling to this. Off-road truck. Is that what it's recommended? Tips. Off-road truck. Pottery terrain, jack screw, and an anchor. Okay, right. Take at least one truck. Well, that helps because we're not going on foot. The garage. Right, we've used the Acton. Can we use something else? There's the Dawn 71 that we gained. Nice. Player arches on skinny little tires. Hey, Acton SE is what we did have. What else have we Oh, Lodestar. I want to see if we can use the Lodestar now. Add. Looks like we've gained 
quite a few trucks right off the bat. I noticed there was two different actions. Okay, inventory. We need a jack screw. Fuck, 1500 cash. Buy me. Oh, yeah, you do buy it. And an anchor. Five anchors. 1200. Oh, my. Right, okay. A one tire spare and 50 spare. Bar. Okay, let's go with that. It didn't look like we were going that far, to be honest, so I'd like to think we're okay. A customize F. What have we got? Anything interesting here? Again, a lot of it locked out. Heavy fenders, just to have a quick look. Heavy window guards. Okay. Braced window guards. Cosmetics, I'm going to assume, as opposed to functional. That might be functional. A roll cage. Less damage when you roll it onto your roof, because that's what I'll be doing, probably. Stock fenders. Heavy fenders. Reinforced fender. Ooh, okay. Right, I'm not going to buy anything, because I want to just explore in vanilla. Hey, uh, what do I need? Uh, I think that's everything. Can I... Oh, the bigger engines. Buy it. And the locked one. Complete what we stand to lose to unlock. So I need to figure out where I find this. And then make it a priority kind of thing, if I was after that engine. Gearbox. Stock gearbox, fine tuning. Now that's the one I would normally go for. But I have the money for a Lodestar for that. I'm almost tempted. But that's not a priority because we have a gearbox. Stock is what we're fitting. Lift kit. Right, I, kind of hard when it springs about to know how much you really... Oh, you are gaining quite a bit with that. And rock crawler, a bit lower. But probably better for going over the rocks, as it implies. Explore the region. I'll be keen to find that then. Tires. What are we sitting on? All terrains. We can go to the twos. Again, very familiar, but I do wish to give you the proper kind of decimal stats as to which is better. And it would appear that the actual threes are now better than twos now. And finally, yeah, so it used to be twos were the, the ones to choose from. Winch, uh, extended for 3,000, the rest are locked. Advanced, explore, so we find it, that's nice, that'll be free. Advanced, explore, high power, complete a dusty job. Okay. And the snorkel. I'm going to fit the snorkel because we did get the warning, it's only a 1,000. And I want... If I was to sell it, do I get a thousand back? Yes. So you don't lose money selling it if you do buy it. So that's not a bad thing. Not like a second hand, you lose maybe 25%. I think we're just good. We don't need anything on the back. We've got the color schemes there. I don't I think I get this one because I got the early edition. That might be the stock one that you get from base game. We'll go with that one since it's a little bit unique. So we've got a jack screw and we've got the anchor. Right, let's go. Back at that. Deploy. Oh, I've got a choice of deploys. I don't think I want to go there because it implied that we we're over here. So how do I choose? Field operations base? Ah. Click on the load star. That's how you choose your base. Eastern one of two. And zero of four. Zero of four. Can I... Well, that's I can't deploy right at my garage. Oh no, that's unusual. Start expedition is only at the eastern outpost. How peculiar. Why can't I just deploy without having to have the eastern outpost selected? Literally just open the garage door and I'll drive out. If that's what it's saying, one of two, start expedition. I guess we're driving back to the garage. Where are we? And what is that? See, that? see, there's the... Is that where we're heading? Away over there? Let's open up the map. And put a... A waypoint. Get to the point. Stone fjords. Right. Okay, not fjords. Fjords. E yeah. Basically, that's what it is. Who's that? So we've got a kilometre to drive back. 
Where we at? Headlights? Oh yeah, okay, let's do it. Start engine and brake off. What's this? Building modules. F. Okay. 10,000 is going to cost me. 10,000, it's not a reward. 10,000 cost to build a gar a storage, which will give me 100 litres of fuel, 200 repair parts, and two tyres. As it implies, right here. So you can build, like, outposts. Okay, I'm not going to build that yet. What's that over there, then? Is that the same? Or does it give anything different? I'm going to put my engine off, because we've got to drive all the way back. Right, F. 100 litres of fuel, 200 repair parts, and two spare tyres. So it's two outposts here. Do they automatically restock? Who knows? In the meantime, we've got to get all the way back. How do we get back from up here? Okay, that's sneaky. So we we're going to have to go over to there. Down there. Oh, look what it's put us. I actually kind of thought initially we'd be over here. We have got quite the drive. There. Or do we go around? Hold on, let's spin the map. Oh yeah, that doesn't look too passable. Let's not do that. We're going to have to try and cross here. Or up on the next level up. Through there. Oh no, look, we're stuck up here. How do we get down? Oh, look, oh there's a truck there. Cancel all of that. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Is that what they've taken us over here for? They knew that we'd have to drive past that truck. I'm not sure. We're certainly making it like we've got to go exploring now. We've got to try and get back over there. Once we go over there, we kind of know where we're going. That's peculiar. So, hypothetically, if I, if I close that, and I do escape, because, yeah, return to headquarters, I can get recovered back to the headquarters. Does that affect the contract is the biggest question at the moment on my lips. But I want to explore to see if I can find that truck. So, is there a time of day change? Skip time is back to T. Yeah, what time of day is it? I don't see any clock to go by here. I've clicked it once. Okay. Guess we don't have a clock. Never mind. I'm just wanting it a bit brighter for, basically for you guys as well as me, just so we can see what's about. Driving in the dark's nice, but we'll save that for a later uh, episode. The mighty Lodestar. Okay, I'm going around that way. Don't go down there. I can only base my initial comments on the quality of the vehicles off of SnowRunner. And the Lodestar was good in SnowRunner, so if I'm wrong in my assessment, forgive me. Okay, yep, we can go down there. You just get so familiar with the SnowRunner terrain that you know what's generally okay and what's not. I'm not going to bounce down there. Don't want any damage. I see the truck. What are we going to hopefully gain? Do I want to go down there or not? Not really, but I think I will. Oh, I've picked up on a tree. Okay. Tree's really going to be that tricky to get over. Kind of. Oh!
It tells me I have to winch this truck back to base. I'm not going to be best pleased because I'm in a little load store. I don't need... I don't have all-wheel drive. Must be careful. I'm going to try and use the winch. It was F. Oh, look, it sinks down when you connect it as well, just like Snowrunner. Right, release. Interesting, no found vehicle, no information. F. Turn on engine of winch trunk. Yes, okay. It sounds like it's started, okay. Oh, okay, that's that's something pleasant surprise. I didn't expect it to drive quite so readily. Get out of there. Go on. Again, rocks appear to be mighty slippy. Can't even get my left wheel up onto that one. Come on, up! Are you joking me? Right, okay, what I'm going to do is release the winch. And how do I do this again? No. I know, I don't want that. Winch. Can't reach the tree. No, I can't. I'm gonna pull myself over to the tree a wee bit. That'll do it. That's what I was after, find it. Up we get go on. I really don't know why I'm going to be dragging this truck. If it's gonna give me any benefits. Come on, turn on. Oh, so he's turned his engine off automatically there for some reason. I'm not getting my hopes up here. I might have to ditch that truck. Yeah. Ditch the truck. I know it's there. I just want to get back to base. I've got a job to do. I'm going to stop up on the next solid bit of ground because... I've already forgotten that I could be using things like the drone out here. Right up there. There we go. Right. Handbrake on, engine off. Let's bring out the drone. Anything here? Oh, down the way. Let's go back up. How high can we go? Oh, height of 30. What is that? That tent hanging off the side of a cliff. Whoop! Okay, that's a bit far then. It looks like it is. Somebody practicing their rock climbing. There's the truck. And there's the route through. Okay, fine. Let's close that down. I want to, I want to try and get the camera in that position, but I can't see the rock face. So let's just drive on. Let's go, go, go. I'm really hoping to bump into things that give me upgrades. There's that bit up there. I don't think we can get up there yet. Until we can get some practice using the the anchor and climb up rock faces like you've seen in the trailers and stuff. The, okay, our first potential water crossing. Now, I'm all for scouting maps. This is a whole different level. Okay, don't see anything of any interest there. Let's try this. Ouch, you have discovered a new ford. Okay, so that's a crossing. Very good. We're not taking it. We've got to get up there somehow. I 
think maybe in hindsight I would have taken a bigger truck with um, all-wheel drive. Maybe the Actian. Come on. How am I going to get up there? Or am I supposed to go round? And break on before I roll back down the hill. Board. Okay. I don't know. I think you can go round. As opposed to... I think you can do both, to be honest. I think you can do both. Is there a winch point? No visible winch points. Okay, let's back it up. Okay, to the point. Oh, get over. I don't like the look at this, but we're going to have to do it. Now, for the second task, it's... If there's a good bit harder, can I go round again or should I go up and over? Try and go up and over. It looks a little bit easier. One little... Don't start up. Oh, turn, 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 turn. There is a tree up there, so that might help. Whoop. Do not fall over. How far can my winch extend? Hey. No. Okay, basic winch. Not gonna help. I just want to get my back end kind of up that slope so I can get a better angle. I'm just going to tie myself in knots at this rate. And rocks really, really are slippy. There's no grip to them. Go on. That's what I'm talking about. Go on, up you get. Lodestar with basic tyres, smallest engine. That just shows you how capable he potentially is. Drop into the water. Now, I don't need to get fuel, but that is what that was there, wasn't it? Repair parts and fuel. I just want to get back to my base, and we'll leave that in case I need it in the future. I don't want to use it up. Come on. Come on. Grippy. Sun-scorched rocks are not going to be that slippy. Okay, it's going to make it hard for me. Am I sitting on a rock or something? That's what it felt like. Go on, round you go. Is that a winch point? <laughs> I mean, that's utterly mad. I th it's almost like the SnowRunner physics again has come to haunt us with this getting over rocks. It's almost it is like ice. Oh no. Come on. Little old star, bounce your way up there. You've done so well. Only I had all wheel drive. <laughs> really? Uh, at this rate, I'm going to need the fuel and stuff here. Let's take a run at it. Come on. Didn't work either. Right, okay, anchor. Is there actually any winch points at all here? Nothing, no... Branches, no trees, no bushes. Okay. Binoculars, winch, drone, echo sound. Where's... Oh, inventory. Anchor, use. Don't place it there. I want to move my camera. 
go there. Okay, first time using this. And unbreakable our pool. There we go. That that is a nice wee feature, I'll not lie, that's quite handy. I hope it stays there now that I've put it down. Nobody nicks it or disappears if you complete the task or start the game again. I'm gonna don't tell me I'm gonna need another one. Punch connected behind me. No, I don't want to do that. Right, come on, take a run at it. Come on, little load star. Don't use up all my little anchors in the first little part of the game. This is the beginner part. Oh! Are we going to do it? Perseverance, is it going to win? Is it going to pay off? I doubt it. It's not looking good, is it? That's the winch behind me again. I don't know if the, the tires getting clogged up with dirt has any bearing on this game yet. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Because in Mudrunner, the original spin tires, I'm sure having mud stuck in your tires actually affected the traction. Oh, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Oh, I don't know what I did there that was different. Come on. Is there any winch points now? No, it's still behind me. Come on, get out here. Look at that one over there. <gasps> I'm out. Keep on using the handbrake. Right, that one. Do you know what? I'm, I'll be quite happy to go up there if it needs to be. Hey. I'm used to pressing V to bring up the winch points. It doesn't appear to have that. Okay, not that one. That's what we're talking about. Oh, I guess driving through cactus makes no difference. You don't get punctures. Right now, where am I going? Where am I going? Down here? E, am I supposed to go to the right? Oh, very little tree. We've been to that. You just no, I haven't. I got 100 cash for that. Discovering new airdrop, so it was greyed out as a parachute. So guess that's what that means. I must remember. One round you go. That was quite a challenge. I'll not lie. Anchors definitely seem to be one of your best friends in this. Off we go. Let's see what this little question mark is. Get to the point. Well, that's not it. Really? Did that count? I can even... Oh, yeah, it did count. What's this? Show task. Beautiful view. Near the camp, apparently, there's a picturesque panoramas. Let's, let's explore them together to discover these magnificent places. 1,600 cash. Okay. I'm not going to follow that. I want to do Stone Fjord. A Ford. Stop saying Fjord. Right, okay. 
One done. Stage complete. Is that it? No. Nope. Jack screw. If you overturn, then open the venue where you will find a jack screw and use it to put your car back on its wheels. I, this item has a limited number of charges and only works if the truck is overturned. Basically not on your wheels. Okay, inventory. Yeah. Jack screw. Cannot be used because I'm on my wheels. Okay, that's fine. Escape. What are you telling me about your flashing? I know. Is that it? Oh, I just had to press the I button, not just click on it there. Right, let's go and get this last board. Is that it? Stage complete. Get to the swamp now. What swamp? Who's that? It's up around the back of there, is it? Okay. I thought there was only two points. That's a bit narrow. I feel like I've done this wrong somehow by coming out at the eastern point. Because this is like almost going back to basics. Okay, let's get the echo uh, the sonar. Echo sounder. There we go. Does it move if I move? No, it's it's where you place it. We'll do it once more. Yeah, okay, that looks fine. I don't know yet the best choice of vehicles you're going to get for this. Because um, obviously I just chose the load start because I like the load start. If you want to use a winch but there are no convenient point to connect it, use the anchor. The anchor can be placed on non-stony ground. Okay. I've already used one. Use. Oh, I don't want to use it anywhere here. Cancel that. I need to go closer. If I'm going over there, I need to go closer. Oh, this is going to end up bad. Right, okay. Inventory. Anchor. Use. Get over there. And now I want a winch. Yeah. And break off. Low ratio. You gonna, you gonna do it? You're just gonna make me look silly again. There we go. Well done. I claim out. Nope. <laughs> I need to figure out the fast way of doing this. Come on. Up you get. There we go. Release. And done. Is that it? Expedition completed! Stone Ford done. 2,900 cash. Take less than 100 damage. We managed that, so I did an extra 1,000. Don't flip the car more than three times. Haven't flipped it yet. 1,000 cash. Get rewards. There we go. Then we can return to the headquarters. But that's the ones we used up because we used two. I thought we used three. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Two jack screws. Stone Ford. Items sold. Again, don't know what that was. 24 minutes, one and a half kilometers, almost 80 liters of fuel, and 14 points of damage. Not bad. Right, return to headquarters. And we're back. And that is where I'm going to call this first episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have enjoyed it, but there's still a lot to learn. How much more content there's going to be, I have no idea, so please do come back and follow the Let's Play and we'll all find out together. We will continue with Little Colorado, but certainly I am keen to see in Arizona and the Carpathians and what mods come out. All very interesting. So, between this and SnowRunner, I hope you will subscribe and will let you know uh, when videos will come out if you click the little uh, icon for the bell. 
there will be regular content. Thank you once again. You'll see me again soon. Bye for now.